Okay, the original graph is red, <clears throat> it's dotted. So we're supposed to do negative f of x. So one good way of doing these is to pick a point, right? This is at uh, 4 on the x, negative 5 on the y. And what this function says is that we're not really changing, if you don't change your x values, the new graph should have the opposite sign of the y values. So here we are at 4 comma negative 5. My new function needs to be at 4 comma positive 5, the opposite value. But that's not quite right. We have to make sure we get our other dots too. So look, let's pick another point. On the red dot, it's 5 comma negative 3, right? So this function transformation says you're changing all the y values. So instead of 5 comma negative 3, we're going to do 5 comma positive 3. And that's it. That's the graph of the transformation. Okay, the original graph is red dash. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay, where's the red dash? I need to move that. Okay, so it's saying you're changing the y values. They're the opposite sign. So the, the point in the original graph is uh, negative 3 comma negative 4. So on our transformation, it's still going to be the same x, but a positive 4 for the y value. And then pick another dot. This crosses at 1 comma negative 3. So 1 comma positive 3 should be our transformation graph. Okay, so this one is saying that um, for the new functions graph, the, um, your, the y value is going to be the same as the opposite signs of whatever x value you put in. So in other words, f of negative 2 in the original graph should be f of 2 in the positive graph. So let's take some points in the original graph. We got 1 comma negative 5. So on the new graph, you should have negative 1 comma 5 for a dot. Negative 1 comma 5 for a dot. I don't know what the rest of the graph is going to look like. We'll check that out in just a second. But the negative value, the opposite value of the x-coordinate should be the same, uh, should have the same y value is what that's saying. So another point, um, look, this looks like a point in the graph at 2 comma negative 4. So at x equals 2, we have negative 4. So that means that x equals negative 2, we should also have 4, which we have right there. I think we're done with the transformation.